we begin session five combining two of the aspects of creation of looking at uh brother son sister moon unit 13 a franciscan view of creation and comparing that to unit 11, a Franciscan perspective on the economy and the global reality. And just as the canticle has opposites and we've seen in some of the other aspects um, that we've looked at with Build With Living Stones is the comparison and contrast. And that's what we're going to do. In the past, uh, I put this to music. I will do a version uh, to music, but this version I'm doing today will be a conversation dialogue. We begin looking at, uh, this is to be more of a meditative reflection of the images, but right now for this particular recording, I'm going to talk you through, and then I will do a separate recording with the actual uh, music to the different parts of the presentation. To review our previous discussion, session four, we looked at St. Francis and St. Clair created an alternative lifestyle, which many followed and was an impact on the merciless social structure. At St. Bonaventure University or where you are at or the Allegheny Associates, what alternative lifestyle can we offer in our generation? Today, are we a culture without compassion? What is your understanding of social justice basis of all Franciscan life and mission? And how does that inspire you at um, Oldenburg, at Allegheny's, or your present work or living situation? Franciscan Heritage Unit 5, we're going to look at Units 11 and 13. A Franciscan view of the environment, Brother Sun and Sister Moon, with a variety of images of the canticle, traditional versus contemporary. Uh, in the music version, we will use some of John Michael Talbot's uh, first and then uh, uh, Night Tree, uh, Native American rock opera music, looking at a little more modern version, and then ending uh, with the Italian version of the story of Francis. The economy and global reality from a Franciscan per perspective in this, we are going to do a comparison of the images of the economic way of the cross relating to issues today. In part one of this meditative reflection of the images, the integrity of creation. And you're going to see three or four different versions. You're gonna see different artists perspective of the canticle. And again, Bonaventure's theory of three, we're going to be doing comparisons within threes. So brother, sun, sister, moon, a Franciscan view of the environment. And that, I look at the images of creation, like a traditional versus contemporary. So this is a series of sketches from Assisi, that was done by an artisan in Assisi. Um, and you can see 
the Canticle of Creatures, how this particular artisan used these sketches to portray brother son as Francis reaches out to the sun. Sister Moon, notice the comparison of the dark images, yet the, the image of the moon still rises above and Francis giving glory to that. In Brother Wind, Francis is, notice the artwork to symbolize the wind, uh, the blowing of the trees and Francis laying low during this time. Sister Water, uh, the image of a waterfall. Again, Francis giving praises and notice birds are, seem to be in most of these pictures. Uh, Brother Fire, the image, notice the image of the fire and the starlight and Francis hands over the fire, praising the fire. Mother Earth, give notice again the image of Francis reverence to the earth, uh, to the flowers, to the trees, and that humbleness of being one with. Uh, Sister Death, Francis with his brothers, uh, uh, notice it's outside of Assisi, because they brought him to the Port Sincula, uh, where he began his journey and where he ended his journey, which is outside the walls of Assisi. In these images by Corinne Didashame, notice these are hand sketches. And most high eminent, good Lord, to you praise, glory, honor, and all benediction to you alone most high do they belong and there is no one worthy to you meant to you in this image of the sun praise praise be my lord by means of all your creatures and most especially for sir brother son who makes the day and looms us by the light, for he is beautiful and radiant with great splendor and is a symbol of you, the Most High. Sister Moon, praise be you, my Lord, by means of Sister Moon and all the stars, for in heaven you have placed the clear, present, and fair precious and fair. Brother Wind, praise be you, my Lord, who means Brother Wind and by means of the air, the clouds and the clear sky and every kind of weather through which your creatures nourishment. Praise be my Lord by means of Sister Water, for she is useful, humble, precious, and chaste. Brother Fire, praise be my Lord by means of Brother Fire, by whom you do illumine the night, for it is fair and gay and highly and strong. Mother Earth, praise be my Lord, by means of Sister Mother Earth, which sustains us and keeps us and brings forth varied fruits with colored flowers and leaves. Praise be my Lord through those who give pardon for love of you and suffer infirmity and turbulence Blessed are they who endure all in peace, for they, O oh God, most high, will be crowned for you by you. The endurance of peace. Sister Death, praise be my Lord through our sister bodily death, from whom no living person can escape. Woe to those who die in mortal sin, but blessed are those found in your most holy will 
for the second death will be there of honor. No harm. Praised and blessings, praise and bless my Lord and thank him and serve him with great humility. Now these are three versions of postcards when I was in Assisi of the canticle. Uh, again, know the symbolisms of brother sun, sister moon, brother fire, sister wind, the handshake of pardon, brother wind, uh, and all the symbols. This is the English version of, again, all those aspects of brother bodily death, brother water, mother earth, sister moon, The Spanish version, again, it's all inclusive. The symbols uh, speak the words that one does not need to know the language, but to, again, as a reflection, to reflect on the symbols and the portraits. Here's the uh, Italian version of the canticle. Again, notice the artwork and um, it's in Italian, so, sis, sister, son, bro, brother, son, sister, moon, Laudate. See, and notice um, the Laudate C, uh, Pope Francis's, and notice how this Italian version of the canticle begins with La Date C. Si. La Date C, si, uh, Brother Wind. La Date C, si, Sister Water. La Date C, si, Brother Fire. La Date C, si, The Earth, Mother Earth. And the symbol of the canticle of the presence of um, the symbol of this poor man and a symbol of God being one with us. And Francis at Laverna in the canticle and Francis receiving the stigmata. And this is Francis and the jest of being one with Christ. With his brothers. We move on to part two of integrity of creation. And again, different symbols, uh, a traditional versus contemporary of the images. And this is a piece of artwork from one of the uh, friars that was a student in the summer here at the Franciscan Institute. This is his version of the canticle of seasonal creation. And notice the roundedness and the circular movement and motion. They were all in relationship with each other. This is Corinne Didashame, uh, symbol of canticle, Mother Earth, another symbol uh, by Corinne Didashame, and that enduring peace for all, uh, peace in, an, in different languages. Again, that symbol of being in relationship with each other. And most high powerful, this is a version of the canticle taking from Francis of Assisi, The Song Goes On by Noonan and Gosnick. The Song Goes On, Brother Son, 
and that symbol of the canticle, notice the circular motion of always being in relationship with each other. Praise be you, my Lord, through Sister Water, which is very useful and humble and precious and chaste. Praise be you, my Lord, through Brother Fire, through whom you light the night, and he is beautiful and playful and robust and strong. Praise be you, my Lord, through our sister Mother Earth, who sustains and governs us and who produces varied fruits with colored flowers and herbs. Praise be you, my Lord, through those who give pardon for your love and bear infirmity and tribulation. Blessed are those who endure in peace. All the men and women, young and old, come to meet him. Praise be you. Come to meet, again, that symbol of the circle being one with creation. Uh, this is from uh, Mundelein, uh, their garden with all God's creation. This is Brother Sun. Uh, this is taken from a um, postal system, had a series of stamps. And uh, I thought it was very symbolic of, again, of all cr God's creation. This is shining with great splendor, uh, overlooking Laverna in the Umbria, in the mountains of Umbria Valley where Assisi is. Sister Moon over the stigmata at Laverna. Greccio and the stars overlooking uh, Greccio where the first nativity was held by Francis in the shooting star formed them in heaven. This is overlooking Assisi at sunset. Through air and cloud, brother wind. Uh, this was taken at Laverna. Sustain your creatures. Again, on, the, on some of the pathways on, at Laverna. And through ice and snow, have faith, be at peace, today and every day. This was just a greeting card, but I thought it was very symbolic of Sister Water and God's creation. Sister Mother Earth, the rock of Brother Lupo, the Brother Wolf. Uh, this is in uh, Mount Subasio, again, overlooking Assisi. And Brother Fire at the... Uh, Sunset over Assisi. Blessed are those found in your most holy will and Francis's last resting place at the Basilica in Assisi. And farewell to Laverna, Sister Death, is a symbol of that moment of Francis and the stigmata at Laverna. This is a series of interpretations of God's creation to the Canticle of the Galaxy by Francis Fall, who's a Franciscan missionary of Mary, using the teachings of Teilhard de Jardin and the earth and creation of the earth and looking at that symbolism from an anthropological uh, perspective. The Galaxy of the Canticle. The poet Dante wrote that wonder is among Francis's most striking virtues. It underlies his whole attitude towards nature. Francis is not just a nature lover. He is a nature mystic. In the depths of his being, he experienced the interconnectedness of all things that exist and his role as the human in the universe. 
in the spirit of his canticle the sun this painting celebrates our galaxy life dance our journey through time presenting large-scale paintings sculptures and an interactive labyrinth installment life dance our journey through time uses the power of art to tell the great epic story of our universe a cosmic walk awakens an awareness that this is our story too though not yet in our human form we were there from the beginning at the birthplace of the universe rooted in the primal of fire and made from the stardust you and i are that old noon spear knows the symbolism of mother earth and the people surrounding mother earth atmosphere notice again that early creation of a galaxy uh, within the womb atmosphere air wind energy as the moving principles of nature are celebrated in this painting wind created as heat expands and moves out from an area of high concentration and fullness it expresses the cosmic dynamics of expansion and exuberance as the human form of this cosmic dynamic, our thoughts and our perceptions must expand. Our primary role is to understand and celebrate. We have natural desires to share life, to serve, to pour out goodness, all characteristics of exuberance. We are the exuberance of the universe celebrating itself. Here is geosphere as Mother Earth begins to create the Earth. Geosphere, memory is the way the past works in the present. Soil, rocks, minerals, mountains, and other landforms are frozen memory of the work of super novus billions of years ago the crust of earth holds the story of life's adventures in the last six million years the geosphere reveals and celebrates the cosmic dynamic of remembering during the whole vast epic of reality fire is also celebrated in this painting as a shaping force, destructive and consuming, but also purifying and regenerative, it spontaneously erupts and shows itself. It reveals the cosmic dynamic of self organizing power and activity. Hydrosphere that whole aspect of the earth being formed through water and the life within our sister water. Hydrosphere, the waters of earth have great power to dissolve, absorb, and assimilate as, for example, when minerals are absorbed into the water on state of being and drawn into life of plants. The waters reveal the cosmic dynamic of sensitivity, which is the ability to respond to situations and be intrinsically altered by them. In our celebrations of life, when we well up with feelings of wonder and awe, at the beauty and glory sweeping through the universe about us, 
We are absorbing the universe into a new self and we become this cosmic sensitivity in human form. The law of evolution, adapt or die, is itself evolving to a new stage of development. We must not adapt spiritually, not just physically. We must now adapt spiritually, not just physically. The challenge of our own survival and that of our planet cannot be met without the power of the spirit. Biosphere one, stage one, is those mammals that were came out of evolution and development. Biosphere one, in the universe, to be is to be different. In each one of the 10 million species in Earth system, the universe gives birth to itself in a new and unique way. This painting celebrates the cosmic dynamic of differentiation. Each year, many species disappear forever. Our species brought forth to enrich the total life of the planet with its science, technology, and imagination could do much to stop this trend. We are meant to be the compassionate and understanding heart of the universe. We need to reinvent ourselves as such. In Biosphere 2, we see more development of more species, larger species. Biosphere 2, the universe evolves into beings that are different from each other, but are woven as a web into a community. Everything we do enhances or diminishes everything else. Not only our actions, but also our thoughts, feelings, and dreams are vibrating energies which make a difference. They are sent out into the world and they shape it. This painting celebrates the reality of interrelatedness, each being intimately interconnected in a magnificent dance, belongs and is loved and nourished. In turn, each becomes nourishing food for the whole community of life along with the delightful aspects of this communion of creation are severe demands. The human must diminish so that other life forms might flourish. Cosmic Fear One Sun Dancer, the presence of the sun giving life. Four and a half billion years ago, Sun was born, one of billions of stars in the Milky Way galaxy. Sun is one million times larger than Earth, which is held by its gravitational power. Each second, Sun transforms four million tons of itself into light, which disperses in all directions never to return again to its source. You and I are here now because of this incredible and ongoing generosity of sun. Our whole solar system is rooted in generosity. To be human means to become celebration and generosity of being burst into self-awareness. The life dance continues our journey through time, nebula, and the stars in the galaxies. We live in a cosmogenesis, an ongoing evolving reality. 50 billion galaxies in the known universe all go back to a single point when the universe was first born 
and fled forth. When those galaxies came into being, billions of stars were swirling and dancing about each other, exploding and creating new stars. All of it was in a state of expansion and moving away from that single point. Scientists tell us if gravitational bonding in a galaxy decreased only a little, all the stars would scatter. If it increased, the galaxy would collapse upon itself. This painting celebrates the balance and creative tension that has enabled the universe to unfold in an evolutionary sequence of irreversible transformations. The life dance of journey through time, lazy galaxy. Again, we look at the different galaxies in the skyline and what that symbolizes within life. Life's journey, new sphere. The earth continues, mother earth continues to revolve and us that whole symbol of circle of life and the interconnectedness. New sphere, to understand any aspect of the human, we must realize that the human is less a, a being on earth than a dimension of earth and of the universe itself. The human is derivative, earth is primary. In reality, the human activates the most profound dimensions of the universe. Its capacity to reflect, on and celebrate itself in conscious self-awareness. The word noon sphere is associated with the writings of Teilhard de Chardin. He assumes that the emergent universe had a psychic dimension from the beginning and uses the term to refer to the concept of a thinking web that surrounds earth and acts as a collective consciousness. The dancer of life's dance and the journey of time. The dancer, the image of the dancer looms large throughout the exhibit. <laughs> In the paintings on the wall, the feminine dancers refer not to a gender, but to an archetype of women nurturing and being nurtured. Their dance is celebratory, for in the human, the universe awakens and now has the capacity to express its feelings and to celebrate. The heart is the second most important symbol because it represents our human destiny as compassion. The labyrinth symbolizes a journey on the path of the heart and the lights symbolize awakening and awareness. The large black fabric screen with their paintings of galaxies, nebulous and star birthings surround us on our journey as if we are held within the cosmic womb of mother universe until we reach the center of the labyrinth and emerge. The uh, other symbol of this earth charter looking at today's perspective, the International St. Francis Prize for the Environment, Canticle of Creatures, uh, was contributed towards the realization of our Franciscan Center of Environmental Studies in Rome. This is back in 1993 but that symbol is still very symbolic today in Assisi. So in part three of this presentation, a Fran for our Franciscan heritage series, Integrity of Creation, the economy and global reality from a Franciscan perspective in comparison to the economic way of the cross. So how do we use these resources that have been given to us and how are we one with the earth? 
are we one with the earth? And we're going to do a comparison of what you just saw, the beauty of God's creation, the environment, brother, son, and sister moon versus the economy and a global reality from a Franciscan perspective. Again, we're doing comparisons, uh, which is part of the teachings of Bonaventure as well as Francis uses these. So looking at the economy and a global reality from a Franciscan perspective begins with Francis, the social action of disrobing clothes is a renunciation of the present economic situation in the time of Francis. And that's what's in this particular uh, slide. In this particular slide, Francis is acceptance of the church's blessing for this evangelical movement in society at the time. And this is Francis before the Pope. The Pope received a dream of a little poor man coming to him to hold up the church. And that's what is symbolized in this slide. The embracing a new way of life, contrary to the social values of, of Assisi, this is the investiture of Claire, who was of the nobility class and chose instead to live as a, as a Franciscan in minoris to society versus majoris. The economic way of the cross, uh, each, each station represents a particular um, institute that is either suppressing the world or holds us down. So again, the focus is on the optics of the poor. So in our, you're going to see a series of slides with the different stations, and I'm going to relate those to you now, and you'll see them in the slides also. The first station, Jesus is condemned to, to death. The institution, suppression of the image of God by Congress. The second station, Jesus bears the cross. Exploitation of labor, the labor department. Station number three, Jesus falls for the first time, oppressive laws from the Department of Justice. Fourth station, Jesus meets his mother, idolatry of money, bank, and financial markets. Fifth station, Jesus is helped by Simon, unmasking deceit, Inter-American Development Bank. Station six, Veronica wipes the face of Jesus. Domination of society, transnational corporations. Seven station, Jesus falls a second time. Debt bondage, Department of Treasury. The eighth station, Jesus speaks to the women of Jerusalem. Voice for the voiceless, the White House. Jesus falls the third time, the ninth station. Violence, Department of Defense, and CIA. The 10th station, Jesus is stripped of his clothes. Denial of the human rights, World Trade Organizations. Liaisons at U.S. Trade Representative's office. The 11th station, Jesus is nailed to the cross. Welfare for the powerful, International Finance Corporation. The 12th station, Jesus dies on the cross. Denial of moral values, corporate alliance and think tanks. The 13th station, Jesus is taken down from the cross. Destruction of God's creation, the World Bank. The 14th station, Jesus is laid in the tomb. Destructed, destruction of the human family, IMF, and the resurrection of Jesus Christ, signs of seeds of hope. What happens on Good Friday, and this was is a walk from the Capitol to these different government buildings. And on this slide, it gives you the timeline of uh, the stations that I just read as they walk from the Capitol 
to the Department of Labor, <coughs> Federal Trade Commission, Department of Justice, Department of Homeland Security, New York Avenue Presbyterian Church, U.S. Treasury, Community of Homeless People, White House, Press Corps, West Wing of the White House, U.S. Trade Representatives, Vice President's Office, World Bank, IMF, Tri Triangle Park, the Resurrection. And here in this particular slide is the part of the, uh, the economic way of the cross, unmasking deceit, Inter-American Development Bank, and proclaiming Jubilee Year Economic Justice, uh, Idolatry of Money, Bank of and Financial Markets, Notice they're carrying the crosses. Some of the, the religious working groups and the World Bank and the IM, IMF, the cross justice department, the economic way, oppressive laws in this slide. In this slide, violence, Department of Defense, as they walk past that building. Welfare, this slide, welfare for the powerful, International Finance Corporation, IFC. In the next slide, denial of moral values, corporate alliance and think tanks. The World Bank, destruction of God's creation. The next slide, destruction of the human family, International Monetary Fund. Again, proclaiming jubilee, economic justice for all. In this series of slides is another form of the faces of Christ. It was a series of a program which symbolized also the economic way of the cross. And in this slide, Jesus is condemned. And the picture symbolizes youth protesting for justice, the many faces of Christ. Jesus carries the cross of a Mayan child coffin in a war-torn Guatemala, parents burying their children. In the slide, Jesus falls the first time Overcome by the grief of a Vietnam veteran, dealing with the hitting effects of war, the many faces of Christ. The slide, Jesus meets his mother as a Bangladesh woman cradles her dying son, woman caring for their dying children, the many faces of Christ. The many faces of Christ in this slide, child labor. Simon helps Jesus bear the burden when children have no time to play or study. In this slide, compassion for the dying and for those with AIDS. Veronica wipes the, Jesus's face when a woman dares to show compassion of the dying. The many faces of Christ. This slide, displaced refugees crushed by war, famine, and disease. Jesus falls a second time, crushed by war, famine, and disease in Namibia. A woman and her children in the desert crawling. The faces of Christ, silent protest of women for freedom of disdained relatives. Jesus comforts the women in Chile who demand freedom for detained relatives. In this slide, the needs of the homeless, true image of God in one another. Jesus falls a third time, 
when people ignore the image of God in one another, homeless on the streets. In this slide, the many faces of Christ, dignity of each naked, abandoned and outcast of the world. Jesus is stripped of dignity in each naked, abandoned and outcast of the world. In this slide, Jesus is nailed to the cross of indifference in a world that has no longer honors age. The world lacking care and honor for our aging, the faces of Christ. The many faces of Christ, those lost to drug abuse, poverty, exploitation, and neglect. In this slide, Jesus dies on the cross drug abuse, poverty, exploitation, and neglect. In this slide, the body of Jesus is taken down, friends embracing to help each other, the face of Christ, by friends not embarrassed to help. In this slide, Jesus is buried unmourned in a pauper's unmarked grave in Africa. The faces of Christ. The many faces of Christ, the tomb of injustice empowering us to follow. Hallelujah, Jesus is risen from the tomb of injustice and gives us the power to follow him. The economic way of the cross, a global economic justice for world peace. These are protests and the goes along with the school of the Americas, but part of the economic way of the cross. The crosses they carry have individual names of individuals who have lost their lives to wage exploitation of labor, wage peace, Global economic justice brings true security. Homeless and jobless, this slide, global economic justice for the homeless and the jobless. In this slide, global economic justice for suppression of people and that symbol of uh, peace. This slide, Global Economic Voices for the Voiceless of Bolivia. The slide of immigration injustices, Nicaragua. The slide of global economic justice, domination of society, the transnational corporation, again, a symbol of Nicaragua. Rights of women, children, and elderly in this slide of global economic justice. Slide of global economic justice, debt bondage capitalization, speaking out. And the slide of violations of civil rights of the many, global economic justice. Has in this slide, has uh, they continue to walk the trade embargoes, US trade representatives, the World Trade Organization, global economic justice. Denial of human rights, the many crosses of the many people that have lost their lives in Central and South America. Global economic justice. Exploitation of natural resources. As they pass a building <laughs> representing the government <laughs> and economic justice. 
passing another government building, waging peace, justice brings true security, discrimination of people, global economic justice, and speaking out for the respect and dignity of all, global economic justice in this slide. This slide, Franciscans reaching out to others is taking, it's a group uh, for uh, Franciscans uh, near Greccio that run a, um, a program for those on the streets in Rome, uh, drug abuse, homeless, and um, Mondex uh, provides them with skills, a place to live until they can get back on their feet again. And it's a restaurant that they serve the people that come to them. But again, it was people that were homeless, uh, addicted to drugs and alcohol that are given another opportunity through this program. A CC for peace in the many languages, as we know, a CC is a center for peace. And this slide is a symbol of a dove and that symbol of peace in the many languages. This is another slide of the San Damiano cross by Francis Falk and the many images of Christ and we are Christ's arms. The mandate of San Damiano, words spoken from a cross, repair my church, which as you can see is falling in ruins entrusted a mission to Francis, which he passed on to Claire. The presence of the sisters of San Damiano became a symbolic reminder of the Franciscan vocation to be actively involved in reform and renewal. They were a lived expression of the church as a community of love with one spirit. This painting is a reflection of the mandate for today. Although the framing is a unifying element, recalling the gold of Eastern icons and the symbolizing the divine of the church, the body of Christ is broken. Each piece portrays one aspect of brokenness in the church of our times, which is in need of healing. Spirit of Francis, symbolizing by the laughing child on the heart of Christ in the painting. The many faces of Francis. This is another portrayal of, uh, by Mick Carlson of the many faces of Francis. So in each flower, the center is a face of Francis. Again, we look at that image of Francis and Claire. You are what you are in the eyes of God. Nothing more, nothing less. And that whole symbolism of being one with God's creation. The canticle of creatures opposites. The canticle of creatures is filled with opposites. And these opposites or extreme poles, pain and joy, despair and consolation, losing meaning and finding it anew, hatred and reconciliation, blend into one another within this little person, Francis, the blind man who cannot leave his hut because light pains his eyes, sings in praise of the brilliant light of the sun. For a reflection, for looking at a comparison of the canticle and also the one written by Doyle in the Song of the Brotherhood, Sisterhood, Song of Sister Energy 2. In your groups as a reflection for discussion, select from each one of the verses of the canticle. Write the names of each element in the verse of the canticle, such as the sun. The groups may proceed as follows. 
share ideas and experiences regarding the verse, for example, about the stars. Compare the verses with the economy and global reality from a Franciscan perspective. <laughs> Create or compose your own canticle as another option. Further group reflection. What are some of the ways you consider God acting in the world, in your life? How does relationship with a God of humble love empower you to accept life's suffering with courage? Do you see reality from the optic of the poor? Does this new optic affect your decisions and choices in life? How and why? Pax et bonum. This brings us to the end of this reflection of chapters 11 and 13 on brother, son, sister, moon, and looking at it from a Franciscan perspective of the global economic situation of today. We will also provide at a future time a uh, music reflective meditation of the slides you just saw. And at this time is the written version uh, for you to also reflect on. And this brings us to the end of our session. <laughs>